Today, we're diving into a fascinating story of transformation and innovation, the evolution of fire trucks. They're something we might take for granted in modern cities, but these machines have come a long way from their humble beginnings. Fire trucks as we know them are high-tech, multifunctional vehicles built to save lives and control dangerous situations. But how did they start? Let's explore how this crucial piece of emergency equipment evolved over the centuries. Welcome to the history of simple things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. The need to fight fires is as old as human civilization itself. Ancient societies had rudimentary methods, often just relying on leather buckets passed hand to hand. Cities like Rome had a form of organized fire brigade, known as the Vigiles, around the first century AD. They used basic hand pumps and buckets to douse flames, yet the idea of a dedicated vehicle for firefighting wouldn't appear until much later. During the Renaissance in the 17th century, early firefighting techniques began to evolve. Primitive pumps and manually operated equipment were mounted on carts, making them easier to transport to fire scenes. In 1658, New Amsterdam, modern-day New York, purchased its first pumping engine. These were hand-pulled carts, heavy and cumbersome, but offering a spark of innovation in mobile firefighting technology. By the 18th and 19th centuries, as cities grew and fires became more frequent, the limitations of hand-pulled carts became clear. Fire departments realized they needed something faster and more powerful. Enter the era of horse-drawn fire engines. These vehicles became standard in the mid-19th century, combining horse speed with new steam-powered water pumps. The steam-powered engine was a game-changer. Developed in the 1820s, this system allowed water to be sprayed continuously, which was revolutionary compared to the manual pumps that required significant manpower. Now, firefighters could keep a steady stream of water flowing onto a blaze, vastly improving firefighting efficiency. For decades, horse-drawn steam engines were at the forefront of firefighting, and horses were carefully trained to respond to the alarm bells instinctively knowing to pull the engine to the scene. The early 20th century brought a seismic shift in firefighting technology with the arrival of motorized vehicles. The internal combustion engine revolutionized the way people traveled, and fire departments quickly saw the potential for replacing horses with gasoline-powered trucks. The first motorized fire engine came on the scene in 1906, and by the 1920s, motorized fire trucks had become more common in large cities. These early trucks were basic compared to what we know today, often open air with little protection for the firefighters. But they could travel faster, carry more water, and didn't require constant care and feeding like horses. Plus, they could haul heavy equipment like ladders, hoses, and pump systems, turning them into the first multi-purpose firefighting vehicles. With buildings growing taller in urban areas, there was an urgent need to reach higher floors during fires. This led to one of the most recognizable innovations in fire truck design, the ladder truck. In the 1910s, fire departments began outfitting trucks with long extendable ladders, initially operated by hand cranks and later with hydraulics. These ladders allowed firefighters to reach heights they'd never been able to before. The ladders could even be rotated and extended, making them more versatile in urban settings. Today's aerial ladder trucks are equipped with automated systems, allowing precision control and making the whole process safer and faster. But these modern marvels owe a lot to the pioneering ladder trucks of a century ago. By the mid-20th century, Fire trucks were evolving into more versatile machines. Previously, fire trucks were designed for a single purpose, like transporting hoses or pumping water. But as needs changed, so did fire truck design. Vehicles began to carry both pumps and water tanks, becoming capable of providing water in remote locations or areas without a reliable water supply. 
In the 1960s, innovations led to the development of what's called a quint, a vehicle equipped with five functions, pump, water tank, fire hose, aerial device, and ground ladders. This all-in-one approach helped fire departments respond more flexibly to various types of fires and emergencies, reducing the need for multiple vehicles and speeding up response times. Today, fire trucks are high-tech marvels, often equipped with digital controls, GPS systems, thermal imaging, and even wireless communication to improve coordination and efficiency on the scene. The role of fire trucks now goes beyond simply carrying firefighters and water. They've become command centers on wheels. Firefighters can monitor conditions in real time, adjust tactics based on data, and communicate seamlessly with other emergency personnel. One of the most groundbreaking advances has been the integration of fire suppression technology. Modern fire trucks carry foam tanks alongside traditional water supplies. These foams are incredibly effective against certain types of fires, like fuel and chemical fires, where water alone wouldn't suffice. Many fire trucks also have compressed air foam systems, CAFs, which allow them to tackle these dangerous fires with improved precision and speed. Beyond firefighting, many fire trucks today are also designed with specialized equipment for rescue operations. Some trucks are outfitted for search and rescue missions, carrying hydraulic tools like the Jaws of Life to extricate people trapped in vehicles or buildings. Others are set up for hazardous materials incidents, equipped with gear to handle chemical spills, biological threats, or other specialized risks. In larger cities, some fire departments even use dedicated airport fire trucks with unique foam and water cannon systems capable of quickly handling aircraft fires. These trucks are essential in highly specific situations, showing just how specialized firefighting vehicles have become. From ancient bucket brigades to high-tech command centers on wheels, the fire truck has undergone a remarkable journey. Each stage in its development reflects the needs and technological advancements of the time, constantly adapting to keep up with a world that's always changing. And while today's fire trucks are impressive feats of engineering, they're built on centuries of innovation and bravery. So, the next time you see a fire truck racing down the street, remember, it's more than just a truck. It's a symbol of our enduring drive to protect and serve, fueled by a history of progress that shows no signs of stopping. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.